Okay, so welcome now again to lesson 101 number 4. So this is the continuation of our past lesson. So we're now on week 3. How to keep your kitchen clean and safe. Clean and sanitize the kitchen. So for today's discussion, our topic would be number 1. How to keep your kitchen clean and safe. Safety measures in the kitchen and how to secure chemicals in the kitchen. So before we start, words of inspiration and counts of prevention is a word of a pound of cure. Keep your kitchen clean and safe. So I choose some safety measures. For number one, remove unnecessary clutter from surfaces. It means that there are some things that which we don't need in our kitchen, so we should uh, keep them out in our kitchen. So we need to clear all those things in some of those were not in use. Next, use a rubbish bin with a lid to keep odors out that attracts flies and other insects. So it is very necessary that in our kitchen for us to have at least a garbage bin, a garbage can. Next, keep your refrigerator clean and tidy. So every week or every second week, so we need to inspect our refrigerator and we should remove unnecessary uh, food or any raw ingredients which is not in use or let's inspect that there are some uh, what they call this raw ingredients or things in the refrigerator which is not in use for a long period of time. Next, use a separate shopping board for a different kinds of food. Actually, in cookery, so there are different chopping boards that can be used in cooking. An example, uh, we use green colored chopping boards that are going to slice or mince vegetables. Okay. And we can use other colors which is uh, for intended for meat, for poultry, and other ingredients that we used to prepare in the kitchen. Change the discloth frequently, which you use in wiping surfaces every day. So we need to wash or change our dish cloth frequently. Next, it is very important that to keep kitchen floors free from debris and grease by sweeping and washing regularly. Next, don't leave dirty crockery and pans to fester where they can attract harmful bacteria, insects, and other rodents. So you have learned from the past lesson that uh, right after you use your cooking pans and pots, it should be properly cleaned. So we should not left dirty or unclean pots, pans in the kitchen. We will now go on to the safety measures in the kitchen. Okay, number one, so it is very important that we should have an adequate ventilation. So that air can travel freely in and out in the kitchen. Or some kitchens they used to have or install what they call exhaust pans. Number two, have knowledge of basic first aid. An example, if you encounter cuts while you're using uh, a knife accidentally, so you should know the first aid on what to apply if you encounter cuts in your hands while accidentally you misuse a knife. Next, wear cotton clothing over your limb and other parts of your body that might be exposed to cleaning agent. It is also very necessary that uh, in standard when you are cooking, uh, you should wear uh, aprons, you should wear uh, hair nets. So these are some PPEs that we need to use while preparing, while cleaning in the other safety measures, okay, wear suitable footwear, it should be closed in and have a steel toe. Wear industrial strength thick plastic or rubber gloves, especially when washing and when you are using chemicals. Then wear protective eye and face wear. We always uh, say that safety starts within
Okay, how do we store and secure chemicals in the kitchen? So one, I choose some. So number one, keep them in a separate area away from food and other products. Next, store in a cool, well lit and well ventilated room. And the very important thing is do not store chemicals near it because it might start or create fire when these chemicals are being eaten. Next, the storage area of chemicals should be kept secure and locked and not in use. So you have to make sure that you have a separate uh, cabinet where you can store and keep your chemicals used in feeding and sanitizing your kitchen equipment and utensils. Next, always store chemicals in a designated container. However, when you buy these chemicals, they are being placed in plastic and closed containers. Okay, but there are some that needs to be transferred like covered bottles and covered containers. And most especially, you should familiarize yourself in using these chemicals at home. Read first the safety measures in handling these chemicals and other thing if you are not familiar with the chemical do not mix chemicals from other chemicals before you are going to use this in cleaning and sanitizing your kitchen with this okay, try to think of that always keep yourself safe while working in the kitchen and keep your kitchen clean and safe all time. Thank you for reading and watching our lesson 101 part 4 clean and sanitize kitchen tubes, utensils, and our kitchen areas at home. Thank you and see you on the next part of this.